Hello everybody, my name is CC23 and welcome to the new edition of a Winona Earp Season 4 Breakdown video. Before we get into the video, I once again want to thank each and every person who clicked on the video. It means the world to me. Alright, if you haven't already watched the latest episode of Winona Earp Holy Warrior Part 1, here is your spoiler warning. Why did they make it a part 1 and leave everybody on a huge cliffhanger? Well, fuck you! But in all seriousness, this was a great episode. I'm not sure about anyone else, but this was definitely the top 10 for me. Okay, the major takeaway from the episode 5 was that Nicole is suffering the consequences of making a deal. And also Peacemaker is not happy with Winona. To start off the breakdown for episode 5 is the fact that Eamon does business for himself. He hates the Clantons, and that is his motive for helping Winona find Peacemaker. Though Doc did say that Eamon should sooner or later pick sides, and I think that that's gonna come back and bite him in the ass. Another small storyline that we were following was the one that I was very curious about. Rachel ghosting her sexy gay aunts and looking for Billy. Uh, she went to call his phone, and when she found it, Billy was nowhere to be seen, or so she thinks. The audience, however, knows that Billy is right behind her, and Margot, or ma'am as everybody calls her, has made him turn into that reaper to kill her. But if that's true, wouldn't Rachel see him if he was going to kill her? Well. No, and here's why. In episode 4, we saw that in order to control the Clanton demon, or the Reaper, they had to cut their hands and have blood drip on a picture of the person they want dead. And as far as the viewer is concerned, we didn't see anything put against Rachel, so... Another really cool thing, uh, if you don't already know, why Earp was a real man. And Doc Holliday was too. And the OK Corral shootout did actually happen. I don't know who gave me the link to the Twitter thread about how the Clantons stole cattle from farms in Arizona and the largest cattle farm was owned by none other than a man by the name of Samuel A. Hot. But thank you for that. I tried to find the comment again, but I don't know. It, like, got deleted or something, but thank you, because I did some research of my own about who these families were and how they were connected, and here's what I got. The Clantons had teamed up with another family by the name of the McClaries. They were a loose group of outlaws that would make money by stealing cattle and horses and then selling them over the Mexican border. The Earps had moved to Arizona as lawmen and soon labeled it illegal to steal cattle. Many ranchers were happy about this, including the Hot family, but obviously the outlaws weren't. Though the reason why the Clantons' hatred for the Earps had escalated so much is because of how the Earps would actually bend the rules when gambling to give themselves an advantage. The Clantons had seen this and saw the hypocrisy of the lawmen bending the rules to favor themselves and were outraged by it. The Clantons and McClory's devised a plan to rob a stagecoach and frame the Earps and Doc to get rid of them once and for all. Though it did fail and the Earps were furious and Doc was accused of robbery. Tensions between the two sides were high. There was a shootout, the Clantons had lost some family, and in the show, the family had never forgiven the Earps for that, or forgot, as you heard in that chant. Finally, before we go on to what might happen next, Rosita is back, bitch, but how? Okay, so we might find out how in the next episode, but my theory is, and this is purely speculation, so don't take my word on it, or do, or do, because, I mean, unofficial theorist here. <laughs> As we all know, Rosita is a brilliant chemist, and throughout the course of season three, where she was gone, she might have figured out 
a way to turn herself back to a human instead of a revenant. And the nuns want to purify her by turning her back to a revenant. We won't stand for that. Rosita found a way to not be affected by the broken curse and she is going to live her life because of it. <laughs> I don't care, nobody can tell me otherwise, but I love Rosita and I do not want her to go. All right, so the big cliffhanger this episode was the death of Nicole, but like, what? Drowning isn't dying, you get knocked out first. I don't know, just ignore me. But. I'm sure that this reverse spell will work and Nicole will tell Waverly and the audience what she agreed to and we might get a bad response from it. However, Margot had done that blood sacrifice to Waverly so now she's in trouble and I have a feeling that she might see who is after her and recognize that the Reaper is Billy and break the news to Rachel. And finally, I think that we are going to get Peacemaker back. I think Winona is going to meet a lot of resistance though. I'm not sure if she's going to defeat the Clantons and the next bad guy would be Eve, or Eve will be the big bad of season five. Hashtag five for Winona. But it's the mid-season finale, and they are going to leave us on a huge cliffhanger because... Fuck you! Alright guys, if you want me to do this for the next week's episode, leave a like, and if you caught something that I missed or didn't cover, leave a comment, um, and subscribe because it helps me out and helps this channel grow. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!